Now give me that hook back without biting me. Ah! My boat is out of the water. And that's because in two days, I'm going to Iceland and we're gonna do some salmon fishing. But I love my subscribers and y'all need some content. But I don't got a boat in the water. So how am I gonna catch a fish? Hmm. There is water right there. I mean, I, I live on the water. I got a balcony right here and I can cast from my balcony into the water. And, oh, hold on. I just saw a YouTube video on this. There was a guy who went fishing off his porch and he caught some fish and he got a ton of views. I'm gonna steal this guy's idea. I'm sorry, Aaron. <laughs> I'm taking your idea. I have to catch a fish from the water, from my porch, and my porch is pretty high. Look at this. And I somehow gotta get a fish up here and then we're gonna cook it. The only thing I'm worried about is that's pretty far. I mean, that. That's quite the distance, and I got mangroves in the way, so the only place I can actually catch a fish is right through that crack. And if I catch a fish and it swims to the left or the right, I'm gonna have some problem. Give it a wave! Yeehaw! Got my neighbor on the paddleboard there. He might actually, maybe he can grab the fish for me. That's a big boy. He's eating my pizza. Big ol' iguana down there. I don't think he's scared of me. Hey, do you guys have any live shrimp? No. Fuck! I'm gonna try a different number. I'm gonna try the yellow bait house this time. Hey, do you guys have any live shrimp? Just small ones? Shit! Okay, Captain Pete's. Captain Pete's gotta have something. Hey, do you guys have any live shrimp? Three days. Ball sacks! I just called every bait and tackle shop near me and nobody's got live shrimp except one shop and they said all they got is like tiny little ones. I don't want tiny little shrimp. So I'm gonna go to Publix now and I'm just gonna buy frozen shrimp and we're just gonna have to cross our fingers that frozen shrimp, oh, frozen shrimp. I'm just starting to realize this is gonna be tough. I have such a tiny area that I can actually fish without hitting the mangroves. This is gonna be ridiculous. Get ourselves some shrimp. What's up, Elliot? What's up, buddy? Hey, don't step on any hooks now, all right? Oh, oh, oh no. The wind took it into the... the... I got it out. I got robbed. They took my shrimp. Ah! What I gotta do is I gotta aim real far to the left and then hopefully by the time the wind takes it, it'll go in the right spot. Oh, no, it went in the palm tree. I broke my hook off. I'm a little disappointed right now. The bobber doesn't weigh enough for me to flick it really far. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna use this little snapper rig that has an, a weight on it. I'm hoping I can cast the weight further. Oh boy, I definitely need another sip of beer. Uh, yep, I needed that. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh no, oh no. Oh, crap. My bait is in the water, but as it was flying through the air, the wind took it to the right, and now it's behind all those mangroves. Oh my, this is really bad. I gotta go down there, I gotta, I gotta go down there. I think I have a fish on. Yo, I think I have a fish on, but there's nothing I can do about it. But something just yanked my line. Oh, shit. it's everywhere. It's in these bushes, it's in those bushes. Oh, boys, boys, this is terrible. Yeah, something ate my shrimp. Oh, <laughs> you caught a fish. <laughs> oh, okay. A tiny baby mangrove snapper. They gotta be 10 inches to keep, and this guy's maybe six inches. Oh, <gasps> he just shit all over me. Damn it. I, oh, all right, he's off. I just got shit on. Fuck. I thought this was gonna be fun at first, but I'm not having fun anymore. I'm covered in fish poop and getting my lines tangled up. You get all that fish poop on my leg. I'm gonna take my beer, I'm gonna take my bag of shrimp, and I'm gonna take my fishing pole. And I'm gonna go down to the dock and I'm gonna fish off the dock like a normal human being because this idea 
was stupid from the beginning. I don't know who thought of this. I don't know why you would fish off your porch when you got a dock. A terrible idea right from the start. Covered in fish poop. I lost the good hook. I ruined a rig and I just want to fish. Oh, much better. Oh, there's a shark down there. You gotta be kidding me. We got sharks now. Fuck. I'm gonna take a couple of shrimp and just like rip their heads off. Throw the heads in there, kind of start chumming up the water, get the fish a little excited. I'll be honest, I don't see nothing down there. I don't know what's gonna happen today. This is gonna be a long day. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Why do I have water on my face? Is that water? Oh, that's shrimp juice. Ah, got shrimp juice on my face. How did that even get there? Oh, I got a bite. I got a bite, boys. I've been robbed. Something just bit. I just had a bite. Ah, yeah, I got him. Oh, what is that? They keep getting smaller. That looks like a dog snapper or a uh, schoolmaster. Tiny baby snapper. That is a little baby. Pretty cool, huh? I think it's time for plan B. Y'all thought I was playing around. This isn't funny anymore. This is war. I'm about to make Russia and China look like a bunch of little babies with this war I'm about to start. Throwing my chum net. Ah, oh, it's in a bag. There we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dinner time. Oh yeah, come on, look at all that chum. That's gotta bring something around my dock. What is that? Yo. My chain's about to break. Add that to the sh around the house I gotta fix. Always something to fuck. Maybe there's a fish under my neighbor's duck that I can steal. Huh. <laughs> oh, fish on, fish on, fish on. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, oh yeah, baby. It's a barracuda. Oh. <laughs> Look at that, got a freaking barracuda. Whoa, buddy, whoa, whoa, whoa. Check him out, it's awesome. Now give me that hook back without biting me. Ah! Oh, there we go. Swim free, my friend. Oh no, he's gonna come back for more, I can already tell, he doesn't care. The biggest snapper I see down there is like six or seven inches big. Not the barracuda again, not the barracuda. No, 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 the barracuda's got it. Ah! Yeah! I'm gonna try to get some kind of feeding frenzy started. Throw out all these shrimp pieces. Come on, buddies. Now I'm gonna throw my shrimp right in the middle of all those shrimp. Oh, fish on, fish on, fish on! Oh, big mahara! Yo, yeah! All right, you know what? I'm having a Today's been kind of a hard day. <laughs> hey buddy, I might be eating you today. <laughs> this, oh man, that's a decent little Mahara. Yeah, I'm stoked, this is great. Beautiful, tender, juicy looking Mahara. I've never ate a Mahara, but uh, desperate times call for desperate measures, you know? There he is. Um, I'm just gonna cut his head off, pull his guts out, cut his tail off, and we'll just be left with Basically like a little plug. Looks like his little belly was full of chum. A little bit of butter, a little bit of oil, a little bit of garlic. We got some heat. Put in the fish. This is my salt and pepper shaker and I'm just gonna dump a little bit of salt on there, dump a little bit of pepper on there. Not the most fancy cook I've ever done, but I've never ate Mahara, so I just want to keep it simple and just see what it tastes like. It's still sizzling, which is a good sign. It means it's hot. Just peeling back all the skin. Reveals a very nice looking white meat. It's looking good. That right there is some Mahara. Just salt and pepper and some butter and a little bit of garlic. Uh, you know what I would compare that to? Pompano. Instant Pompano vibes. That's a really good fish. I was just drowning in disappointment, covered in fish poop, getting my rig stuck. But you know what? That was all worth it. But this is good. It doesn't taste fishy. I thought it was gonna be like a bait fishy, like kind of kind of weird taste, but it's freaking good. Thanks for watching. It'd be super cool if you check out some more of my videos. Cheers.